Google Forms tutorial, how to use Google Forms for beginners. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with creating forms on Google. Now we all know Google Forms as a simple way for us to get feedback, but Google Forms is so much more than that because it can be customized completely according to your needs. Whether you're trying to get data for research or you're just trying to get an invite or reservation, you're easily able to manage all of that using Google Forms. So let's get started. Now for this, simply head on over to Google Forms. For this, all you need is your Google account. If you're on google.com, you can just click on your top right over here. Then if you scroll down, you're going to see your forms like so, and you can just click on that. Once you click on that, this will lead you to the Google Forms homepage. Now, if you're logged into Google, you're automatically going to be led to this page. However, if you are not logged in, you would just have to log in. Once you've done that, you have a couple of different ways that you can build Google Forms. Either you can pick out a template such as a customer feedback template, event registration, party invite, or find a time, contact info, or you can proceed with a blank form. Now, first, I'm going to show you guys how you can build a form for, let's say, research purposes. So if you're collecting data with your own questions and different types of questions, then I'm going to show you guys how you can use a template and customize that. So first off, we're going to create a blank form. Whenever you create a new form on Google, it's titled Untitled Form. So from the top right, you're going to title it. Let's say this is going to be my research, research one form. Then I'm going to click on this section here and it would automatically be applied as the name. Then you have your form description. Usually, whoever is going to be answering this form is going to read this description. So you want to frame it accordingly. So this is going to describe the purpose of your form. For us, let's say it's going to be to gather data, help our research by providing your valuable and honest opinion. Now, once I've done that, I can proceed with formatting this. So if you want, you can make it bold, italic, underline, add links, numbered lists, bulleted lists, or other types of formatting, not opinion, opinion. Now, after that, let's say I have to add some kind of rules for my form or any guidelines. I can simply write guidelines and then I'm going to add a semicolon. I'm going to select this, make it bold and italic. Then scroll down, add a numbered list, and then I can proceed with my list. Let's say my list is going to be answer honestly. Your answers or your responses will remain anonymous or any other guidelines I can provide them here. Once I've done that, I can proceed with asking my questions. So in this, by default, it will say multiple choice. Now, in Google Forms, you have several different types of questions, including paragraphs, multiple choices, short answers, checkboxes, drop downs, file uploads, linear scales, rating, multiple choice, checkbox, date, and time. So, what type of question is reserved for what? Well, let's say, firstly, we're building a short answer, which is going to be What is your favorite animal and why? So, this would you know, until a short answer. Then I'm going to click on add question. Let's say this is going to be a paragraph answer. Then let's say I want to ask them to describe your most adventurous day, like so. And this is going to be answered in the form of a paragraph. Then after that, if I have a multiple choice question, which is going to be, let's say it's going to be how or which animal do you dislike the most question mark and let's say it's going to be dogs cats cows and pigs like this then i'm going to click on add question and then i am going to add a checkbox answer now checkbox answers and multiple choice answers are two different types because checkbox answers allow people to select multiple options so let's say it's going to be what is Mm -hmm. Or it's going to be for a checkbox question. Let's say it's going to be which of these animals have you had as pets? Question mark. And let's say it's going to be cats, dogs, birds, birds, snakes, other like this. 
Now, people can actually select multiple different items within a singular question and answer them with multiple different options. Then we can click on add question and we have drop downs. So drop downs basically allow us to add a lot of different options, which can again be selected. Then for file uploads, first off, I'm going to allow this particular form to be added as a form where Google Drive is accessed. Then I can add my question and I can allow file uploads. For example, I want people to upload their curriculum vitae, so upload your CV, and I can allow a specific type of file. Let's say it's going to be a PDF or document. Upload your CV in PDF or docu file format like this. Then I can add the maximum number of files. You can set it at one, five, or 10, and the maximum file size as well. Now, after that, you can click on add question and you can add linear scales or rating scales. Linear scales are one to five or one to 10, where you have a certain label for each option of one or five or one or 10. Let's say it's going to ask, I will hunt or I will go on a hike every or I go on a hike every week. And the options would be one would be disagree or strongly disagree and five would be strongly agree you can even further label the items in between if you want you can choose a different type of linear scale additionally you can also go with rating scales which are different where people can start rating from one to five or one to six one to ten whatever you prefer then you also have multiple choice grids so you have rows and columns where people can select row one column one you can add a row, add a column like this, and you're able to actually just get multiple different types of answers in this. Again, you also have a checkbox grid where people can check different items in different categories. In a multiple choice grid, usually you have two niches in your answer. So what is your favorite food combo? And then it could say row one would be fries and ice cream. And then furthermore now once you've set up your questions you can click on on the right where you can import a question you can also add titles and descriptions add images videos or create different sections within your forms so if you are building different sections it allows you to categorize your form in an easier way to segregate your questions if you have different types of questions you can exchange them into sections as well once you've done that you can go into responses and you can set up you will see your responses here and then in your settings you have a couple of different options you can either make this a quiz you can also proceed with your form defaults and you can collect the email addresses now if you want to set this option as do not collect then it means you're not going to be able to accept file inputs because you can't accept files unless they are associated with an email then you also have question defaults which you can set which means that questions are marked as default and people do have to respond they cannot leave them empty once done click on publish and then you can choose the respondents. If you want, you can make a private form where only certain people have access, or you can make it a public form where as, as long as anyone has the link, they are able to access the form. Once completed, just click on publish. And now I can simply share this form link and everyone would be able to access and respond to my Google form. Now, if you are someone that wants to use a template, you can choose the template that most closely resembles the type of form you're looking to build. Let's say it's going to be a party invite. Select this form and once you have selected this form, you can see all the sections are built. Simply click on any section you want to alter and then you can proceed. So can you attend? Yes, I'll be there. Sorry, I can't make it. I want to add the option for I'll try. Let's say I want to add I will try to make it. I and I have to switch our keyboards. I will try to make it. Like this, you can customize all the form information as well as the form settings and then publish it as you normally would. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and comment down below what else you would like to know.